Hello subscribers, this is yours truly, JBlue68, coming to you with my next video. This will be another unboxing video. Uh, and if you have not been told and have not heard, this is the new year, 2024. Happy New Year. Uh, I had a previous video uh, where I did an unboxing of the, what was it, uh, Hasbro's uh, Black Series uh, for the Star Wars line. And that was with the uh, helmet of, uh, what is it, what's her name, Bo-Katan, Bo uh, This is another Hasbro figure, and this is from the Marvel Legends line, as you see in front of you. Uh, before I get into this video, though, I do want to say thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, for liking, sharing, and comment commenting. Please continue to do so, and tap the notification bell so you get more videos like this as I post them immediately. Well... Uh, this has been out actually for some time, and when I first seen it, I was like, wow, gotta have it. Because this was originally, I'm thinking, should have been released years ago when they did WandaVision. And I know they, they did what was called the Disney Plus uh, line um, with uh, Scarlet Witch and The Vision. Um, I don't know why it took them so long to finally release uh, this particular character, because she was very, very popular. Uh, in the TV series, I very much enjoy Wand WandaVision, and I especially enjoyed uh, this character portrayed by actress Catherine Hahn. Um, and as I'm looking at this figure, uh, it looks just like her. And I'm going to show you the entire box. We see there, it says uh, WandaVision. Okay, so it's, this is from that line, and there is actress uh, Catherine Hahn on the side of the box here. Let's do a close-up of her close-up shot okay uh, of course she was turned out to be you know very sinister uh, underhanded villain in the show she was funny too and I, I just I just love how they portrayed the, her character uh, the reveal of who she was towards the uh, uh, last remaining episodes of the show I think just were very well done um, that looks very cool I like that um, and here's the other side of the box, which is part of a builder figure of the Hydra Stumper. And I already have a Hydra Stumper. In fact, I did a video of that last year, December of last year, uh, where I showed the original Hydra Stumper, which I got from the What If series. So I'm not interested in collecting this version of the Hydra Stumper. In fact, that version of the Hydra Stumper almost looks like Iron Man in his, um, his silver uh, suit. So I don't really want that. Anyway... Here's the top of the box, which features the star character, uh, the, the Scarlet Witch, and um, uh, Wanda Maximoff is their actual name. And it was actually Agatha Harkness in the TV series that actually declared and told her who she would eventually become. All right. So we're going to get this baby unboxed. Um, let's see, so we can actually see the figure itself. Let's get her out of here. And I actually brought her comrades out, too, from the TV show. And I'm going to show those uh, towards the end of the video. Like I said, most of the time, I think that Hasbro, they, they get it right with their figures. Uh, but again, I just don't know why. It took them so long to actually do this figure, uh, this particular character. I, I would think this would have been done, again, around the time the first show first came out. And if I'm correct... Uh, what was it? WandaVision came out like four years ago, right around the time of the pandemic. Excuse me, I'm sorry, the pandemic. Right around the time of the pandemic. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm being funny there when I say that. But, uh, okay, let's get her out of the baggie here. The baggie, the baggie. I don't have a stand for her, but I, I think, I don't think she really needs a stand. Mm, that new toy smell, I love that. That is awesome. That's awesome. It's a very good rendering of her. Let's see. Get her up close to the camera there. Let's see if we can get a little bit more light too, if I can. There we go. Okay. Maybe a bit, bit too bright. Again, excuse that ugly scar on my hand. I apologize about that. Still healing. But I love that. The hair... The facial expression, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. You can't get much movement out of her, but I still love the way this is done. 
And this is pretty much all plastic. I don't think there's any soft goods on there. Here's the back of the figure there. Right here. This is very well done, man. Very well done. Uh, let's see what our, what's in, yeah, she can stand up on her own. Very good. Very good. And it's probably, again, because of the cape, where well, she doesn't really need much help in standing. Uh, let me see. Okay, nope. Let's back that back out. Okay. All right, so there she is in her full glory. Get that out of the way. And something, something else on one of these other baggies. Let's see what it is. Uh, and they, they currently, the show is current. She's currently, or Marvel Studios is currently producing uh, a show specifically for her character, which I think she very much well deserves. It was originally supposed to be called Agatha Harkness and the Coven of Darkness, I think, but they re uh, they retitled it to Agatha uh, Darkhold Diaries. Uh, these are just part of the. This is a Steve Rogers head. Or the, um, the, um, what did I say? The, um, Hydra Stumper. And that's actually how he appears in season two of What If. Okay, I think that's better right there. And then here's the helmet. You can see it. All right. So, if you want to collect the Hydra Stump, the, uh, new Hydra Stumper that they're offering. Let's see, and then there's something else in here. I don't know what this is. Uh, I think this is also part of the uh, Hydra Stumper right here. It's like some kind of jet pack or something. It's pretty neat. I like it. But it should have had more effects for her, uh, like magical spells or something like that. But you can even see the hands, because her hands were like, they were like uh, black Look like she had black paint on her hands or something like that. I guess reflecting, you know, her power. Okay, so it's not really much to this, but it is nice to have. Definitely. So this completes the um, Scarlet, the, the uh, Scarlet, the WandaVision collection. In fact, what I'm going to do, and I mentioned, I'm going to show these other two figures, her other two co-stars. Uh, from the show, <coughs> excuse me, we have uh, the Vision, or what he was he was called actually the White uh, called White Vision, um, in the show, and I, I've showed these before. It's been a long time, but here's uh, the Vision, or as they call the as they call them White Vision. Here's the top of the box here. Uh oh, knock these over. Let me just move this back a little bit if I can. Move this thing out of the way. Move that back. Move this back. So yeah, here's the back of this. And they re-released Wanda um, uh, Scarlet Witch. She comes in the same kind of box that um, Agatha Harkness is in. The, the box that I'm showing here. Okay. And this is a, looks like a builder figure for the Falcon. From Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And here's Elizabeth Olsen's. Scarlet Witch character, and that's a really, really good head sculpt of her. I'm not removing these out of the packages. Uh, I'm going to leave these as, as is. But yeah, these are all from WandaVision. Okay, here's the side of the box here. There's Elizabeth Olsen. Again, there she is again. And then here is the back of that box. Or of this card, rather. Because they're not, they're not in a box, they're in a card. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So... That's it. That's all, y'all. Uh, just wanted to present this, show you this particular wave. It took them, what, three, four years to complete the wave? That's crazy. Um, but I'm glad to have it nonetheless. All right, so thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And again, uh, tap the notification bell so you get more videos like this as I post them immediately. Thank you all for joining me. And again, Happy New Year. Happy 2024. Peace, love, and hair grease.